Assalamu alaikum. Greetings from Talent Upskill, Class 8, English version, Math, Exercise 2.1, Math number 17. The profit principle for a certain period of time is Taka 5600 and the profit is two fifth of the principle. If the percentage of profit is Taka 8, find the time. So all we have to find is the time or the number of years. We have to get the, that is the answer, the number of years or the time. Now, question is, in which method we should uh, do this math? Which method should be easy for this math? You see here, they have given us already the profit principle and said the profit is two-fifths of principle. So just from this statement, we get profit, the value of profit, and we get the value of principle, both. Since we know the profit, we know the principle, and we know also the rate of profit. Here, the percentage of profit, 8. So, we know a formula. I equals to PRN. So, I equals to profit. P means principal. R means rate of profit. And N means time or number of years. Whatever. So, in this formula, if we put the value, you see here four things. I, P, R, N. If you can put the value of three things, for example, I, if you know I, if you know P, and if you know R, you get the value of N. If you know the value of P, R, and N, you get the value of I. So if you know any three, you get the fourth one, the value. We already got, I have, I have already discussed that we get three things from here. One is profit, one is principal, and the other one is eight. So we already get three things, so it's easy to uh, use this formula and find the value of time. So suppose principal is P, so I equals to, since it is two-fifth of P, so 2P by 5. And profit principle is P plus 2P by 5 equals to 5P plus 2P by 5. That equals to 7P by 5. So we know the profit principle is 5,600 taka. So we can say 7P by 5 equals to 5,000. Here, actually, we should write the uh, unit first, Taka, Taka 5,600. So, P equals to Taka 5,600 by 7 by 5. If we simplify, it should be Taka 5600 by 7 into 5. So 7, 800. It's 800. So we got the value of P. So P equals to therefore. Therefore, P equals to Taka. 800 into 5 means 4,000. So you get the value of I also because I is 2 fifth of P equals to Taka 2 fifth of P value of P is 4000. Simplify. 
Taka 1600. This is the value of I or profit. So we got P, we got I, and we know R value of R equals to 8%. Therefore, from formula, we know P R N equals to I. Why I write P R N first? Because we have to find out the value of N. So I write, instead of writing I equals to PNR, PRN, I write PRN equals to I. Therefore, N equals to I divided by P into R. Let us put the value. I equals to, we already found out, this 1600, 1600. P equals to, we found out, it is 4,000. Okay, it is 4,000. Value of R, we just wrote here, 8%. 8% 8 means 8 by 100. Let us simplify this. 1,600 divided by 4,000 into 8, the 100 should go up, 100, and the unit should be years, because it is time or number of years, so years, here it should be years, equals to, let us simplify, this 2, 0, this 4, 0, gone, 8, and 16 so it should be 200 200 and 200 and then this zero this zero gone and this is 20 and this is 4 so the it should be 5 so 5 years Actually, this is the answer. Let me write the answer. Five years. If you have any question or any doubt, please write it in the comment. I will try to answer to your question. Thank you.